Hello everyone, today I am going to teach you how I take care of my Doc Martens. Last year I made a video about how I personally break in my Doc Martens and there were some people asking me how I keep my boots so shiny looking. So this is what I do. These are the same pair that I broke in in that video. I haven't cleaned them since that day because I waited for them to get really scuffy so I could show you guys what I do. So this is just a close-up of what they look like. for this project is a damp paper towel and your trusty Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam. Oh, balsam? Yes. I kept pronouncing it as Balsam just because that's just how it's supposed to be pronounced in my mind. Obviously it's wrong and it's Balsam. So I will keep that in mind this time. You can get this at the Dr. Martin's store or online for not that much money and it lasts forever. First thing you do is you take your paper towel and you wipe down your boot. I don't bother taking the laces out because I don't care that much. You want to wipe down the entire surface of the boot to get rid of any excess dirt. And then you just let it dry. Now you want to make sure that the paper towel is damp and not wet because you don't want to leave water spots on your boots. Now the tongue doesn't really get much action so I just leave that alone and I just clean the outside. Now that your boots are completely dry you want to take a lint free towel and dust off all the lint that is on your boots. I probably shouldn't be doing this in my pajamas because I'm going to go to bed in these later. Perfect! So now what you're going to do is you're going to polish up your boot with the Wonder Balsam and I'm going to put my camera down so you can see it a little bit better. Jesus. So you're going to take your Wonder Balsam and it comes with this sponge. I let my brother borrow this and now there it's just slimy everywhere. I'm going to take the lid off. This is how much I have left and I told him not to gouge but what can you do? And you're just going to dip it like that. Put your hand in the boot like so and you're just going to apply the Wonder Balsam, 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 whatever, everywhere. I don't really do any sort of motion but I guess you can do like a circular motion. Do your best to blend everything together. I just kind of ignore where the laces are because I don't really care because I'm a good Doc Martin owner. Um, usually two dips gets me through the entire boot. And you just want to keep rubbing it in. In circular motions or non-circular motions it is up to you I just personally don't like seeing those lines such as like right there and right there you can see and then just because I don't care about the tongue doesn't mean that I don't just because I don't care about the tongue doesn't mean I ignore it, so I just pull it back all the way down and just stick this in there 
and just kind of get it a little bit moisturized. And that's it. That is one boot done. Now I'm going to move on to the next one. But look at that. It's so shiny and beautiful. But just in case you need comparison, this is the one that I just did and this is the one that needs to be done. So this is the before and the after. I'm trying to be careful and not touch them. Alright, let's dip again. Here we go, and we are going to treat this one the same way we treated the other one. This one actually has like a scuff in it right there. There's nothing that I can do about it. But it's okay, it'll give the boot character. All right, perfect, so that is it. Now I'm all greasy, but I'm going to let both of these dry and absorb the Wonder Balsam, and then I'll show you the official after shot when they have absorbed the material. All right, everyone, so it has been about 20 minutes. I didn't want to wait anymore because the sun is setting and I just didn't want to do this in the dark under like a yellow light. So let me show you what my boots look like now. Wee! I have feet for hands. All right, so this is what it looks like now. The Wonder Balsam hasn't fully um, absorbed into my shoes yet. So I'm going to have to try to hold them separately because I don't want them touching each other. But as you can see, here is the after. The scratches are just permanent, but as you can see, they are a whole lot more shiny and they kind of look way more new, aside from the fact that they have been worn in, as you can see from the bends and the scuffs in the toe. And this is the back. Look at these beauties. Oh, Pride and Joys. Look at how shiny and beautiful these are. Look at that shine, so beautiful. All right, so that is it. That is pretty much how I take care of my Doc Martens. It's really easy. People think that I do something special to them in order to keep them looking so shiny, but that's pretty much the bare bones care that I give them. So that is pretty much it. I hope that this is helpful for you guys. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.